Okay, so these are what my normal settings look like on the D850. After going across five different bodies, and these are the settings I've come up with as the default for me, finally. As you can see, uh, it's manual mode. Uh, ISO of 640, shutter speed of 640 and F8. I'm not too concerned about the metering mode since I shoot manual only. The mode is FX in this case because it's a full frame camera, the face detection is off. sRGB color space because again uh, I'm not too concerned with that since that uh, impacts only the rendered image that you see on the LCD or unless you're shooting JPEGs. A flat picture profile. The white balance currently is set to auto and the metering does affect this. Generally I would put it to a fixed one. The highest frame rate possible that is 7. A group mode AFC and by default I shoot to the XQD and SD is used for overflow. So this is basically my default settings regardless. The settings do differ for macros and I will get into that when I get into the macro videos. Now instead of going into specific settings, I'll just run through all the settings on this. So the first menu is the playback menu. Not too many changes here. Display options, I just enable all of them. Image review is off as it should be in my case. Not much here. The next is the photo shooting menu. The storage folder file naming can be as a personal choice. The primary slot is the XQD and I use the SD as an overflow. Then we have the image area and it is set to FX for the full frame. Image quality I choose only raw. Image size is not quite relevant uh, in the JPEG and TIFF since I don't use it. I also prefer uh, using the highest bit depth available with lossless compression. ISO is auto ISO is off. White balance currently is set to auto, but generally I would put it to direct sunlight. Picture control is set to flat or neutral, uh, personal choice. Color space, as I already mentioned earlier, is set to sRGB. And I switch off every optimization in camera because I'm shooting RAW only and it has no impact on that. These are only for the JPEGs and the preview. Silent live view is on uh, mode one, which is the full resolution. Now for the movie, the file naming and stuff, and I choose the SD as the default. The imaging area is by default FX and I keep it that way. Now here you can select uh, a lower resolution than the 4K for image stabilization. Move keeps more info, so I set it to that. ISO sensitivity for movies, I leave on. So auto ISO is on, white balance is auto, picture control remains flat, and of course, most of the others remain at defaults. Custom menu, I'm going to autofocus, and the first thing to change is the AFC priority to focus. Focus tracking with lock on, this depends on your subject, can be changed. I don't want any additional uh, stuff that the camera might be doing. Now this is for the back button focus, one of the options. I just choose all of these because I'm really going to use it anyway. These are all defaults, um, not much here. So we just run through these. And we reach the D menu.
Now flash sync speed I set to auto FP for HSS. This is useful in the macros. We'll get to that later. Again, I use only auto uh, ISO for videos. Now this is again, not just back button. On the D850, you can actually have multiple AF modes assigned onto the buttons. So I have three different ones reassigned to different focus points. This is another option which might be useful. I generally set it to zoom at 100%. In both cases, for playback mode as well as live view, it, in live view it allows you to uh, zoom into one to one to get better focus. You can actually see um, the zoomed in results. And the G1 is the same. So that's about it for the custom settings. Now setup menu has the regular setup options, not much to do here, at least not by default anyway. I've just set a uh, copyright information in beep options. I've gone in and uh, turned the beep off because I definitely do not want beeps around. Location data is shared by a Nikon app. I've already connected it to my phone so I can use it uh, whenever I need to. And the last option here is the firmware version in case you get uh, firmware updates. You can check it out here. Retouch has nothing since I have nothing there. Now this is the custom menu where my most used options are. Of course this would keep uh, changing and varying based on usage. And that's about it for my Nikon settings. And this is the default. The eye on the D850 lets you select custom banks and some other options in a hurry. But this is my default.